Now, how often does an emergency C-section happen or have to be performed when you have placenta previa? Now, fortunately, it's rare, but okay. again, the more bleeding that you have and the closer to term you have, a lot of times will dictate when the um, bleeding, or I'm sorry, when the delivery would occur. Mm -hmm. Now, something that we mentioned earlier, I did you want to reaffirm again, you can have vaginal um, delivery even if you have placenta previa. It just depends how much of it, correct? A placenta previa almost always has to be delivered by cesarean section. Low-lying okay. placentas can be delivered vaginally, but a complete previa, 100% C-sections, marginal previas, there are some doctors that may deliver vaginally. You have to discuss that with your provider, but partial and complete previas are 100% C-sections. Now, doctor, I imagine that pregnancy is a roller coaster <laughs> of emotions, and I imagine being diagnosed with placenta issue can be shocking, frustrating experience for women. So mm -hmm. how do you manage the emotions that come with that? Because this is a mom who's right. you know, carrying a baby. You want a healthy pregnancy, but the emotions happen. Right. And I think that you have to encourage the patient, and you have to let her know that what she has is very common. Right. We monitor the baby, and I think as long as we see that the baby's healthy and the baby's growing, that's very reassuring to mom. I think um, it's certainly reasonable to involve a, um, a therapist or a counselor in terms of um, managing the patient. But by and large, as long as we watch the patient, as long as we take good care of her, as long as we show the baby's growing appropriately, then we can reassure the mom that um, we can reach a, um, a, a healthy level for the baby and deliver the baby when the baby will do well.